gospel uh, after death. Okay, a couple questions Good here. Good question. Uh, about spiritual warfare more generally. I feel like the devil puts thoughts in my head that are keeping me from growing in my faith and feeling worthy of God's love. Are there effective, is there an effective prayer or a way of praying that can put an end to this uh, foothold that Satan has on me? Haven't you written a book about that? Well, yeah, kind of. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Read Escaping the Matrix. Uh, there you go. Uh, you know, as, as Paul mentioned earlier, it's important to shoot, uh, to shoot in both directions, in the natural and the spiritual. We don't want to say, oh, it's all the devil, because then you don't take responsibility for stuff. But neither do you want to say, oh, this is all just my mind, because then you don't do the serious warfare we're supposed to engage in. And we usually can't parse that out. To what degree is the uh, uh, struggles with your thoughts and, and the, the thoughts that are not kept, to what degree is that your cultural conditioning, and to what degree is there demonic energy to it? I don't know that we can usually know that ahead of time. And so what I can encourage people to do is to pray warfare prayers against that, but at the same time, get involved in serious disciplining of your mind. Because the Bible tells you to take every thought captive. Um, and it, the Bible tells you what to think about. Whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, think on those things. I and mean, the fact that the Bible tells us what we're supposed to think about means that we have the capacity to control what we think about. So we can't ever say the devil made me do it. But we can say there's demonic influence on that, at least in some cases. Now, the technique for doing that, I can't go into right now, but I would encourage you to get uh, the book Escaping the Matrix, which is all about uh, giving, empowering people to get a hold of how they do certain habitual thought patterns that aren't in line with uh, the truth that we find in the Word of God.